after the mercury electrode for concentrated sodium chloride solution electrolysis we now go to consider the copper 2 sulfate solution one of the case is copper 2 sulfate solution electrolysis using graphite cathode and anode Um, it is the book page 19 um, you have a solution uh, of copper 2 sulfate and it is um, inside a beaker and then the graphite electrodes connect to positive and negative terminal of the power supply and immerse it into the copper 2 surface solution. The copper 2 surface solution um, carry out dissociation and copper 2 ions and surface anions um, existed in the copper 2 surface solution and water carry out ionization forming H plus and hydroxide ion for the N ions they both go to positive electrode and the hydroxide ion is a stronger reducing agent than the sulfate anion so uh, the hydroxide ion PV eventually discharged according to the equation for hydroxide forming oxygen and two water and two, four electrons and then uh, consider the, the cations they go to the negative electron The position of the copper 2 ion is lower than hydrogen ion. Um, according to the ECS, copper 2 ion is lower than the hydrogen ion. So um, it is different from sodium ion. For the copper 2 ion, it is a stronger oxidizing agent than the hydrogen ion. As a result, copper 2 ions PV eventually discharged and gained the electrons forming copper metal. The observation is colorless gas oxygen form at the end and the black graphite cathode change to brown uh, brown uh, brown reddish brown copper or you you what you see is it changed to brown color and the graphite is become heavier the color change from black to brown and the size of the graphite increased and then look at the solution the copper 2 ion discharged hydroxide ion discharged so what left behind is hydrogen ion and sulfate ion and it is a sulfuric acid so um, the change is change from copper to sulfate solution to sulfuric acid